One of the real gifts during that time was connecting with a um, wonderful painter named Edward Nippers, who does these um, large scale biblical narratives. He's in the DC area. And through Ed, uh, connected with Mako, and I uh, apprenticed under Mako one summer. And at that time, uh, Mako was involved in a church plant, the Village Church in New York City out of Redeemer. And so what I found in Mako, which was a real gift, is sort of a vision of pastoral ministry and being an artist and and a painter and how these things sort of merge together. Um, And so... um, from there, I entered into a church planner's residence at a local church called Bay Area Community Church. And that's where um, I received more theological training and some wonderful mentorship. And then at the end of that residency, we planted a church in the city of Annapolis. And the really neat thing about it was in planting a church, um, there's a lot of problems with planting a church, but one of the gifts of planting a church is um, in a way you get to help shape the ethos of the yeah. church. Yeah. And so we were able to shape the ethos of the church from the beginning around uh, this idea of making creativity. I mean, in the early days of the church, it was it was very strange. I mean, it was it was it was not accessible to most people. In fact, we would you know we had artists in the mix who would uh, make drawings and we would pass those around as sort of our part of our worship um, to to meditate upon a drawing unto the glory of God. Um, we had one songwriter who created a song in the middle of the gathering that during the sermon, he wrote the song and then he taught us to taught it to us after the message Hmm. and we're all singing it. It was like this really amazing, beautiful moment, but it was totally inaccessible to many people. But that was, that was really sort of how these two worlds started coming together in some really wonderful ways. And part of my sermon preparation was painting and it still is, Um, you know, hearing from the Lord in his word, writing, and then painting. And then these things all all sort of cohere um, together. 